Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm going to be doing a Bandos guide uh, base, or for Iron Man solo. And basically, I have a lot of stuff to cover, so I'm going to try to go over it quickly and then show y'all Bandos alone. But a lot of the stuff is having the correct items before going into Bandos. So, for the gear setup, I'm going to be showing you. Basically, we're going to be wearing a Crystal Halberd. Uh, you want it imbued. And, um... You want that imbued because as it lowers or degrades, it will affect the defensive stats. The next best thing is you're going to want a dragon fire shield. I don't have one, so simply we're going to be talk using the crystal halberd. Going into God Wars, I'm bringing a Bandos kite shield because you need a Bandos and a Zami item to protect against the monsters attacking you. What those items may be is completely up to you. Um, the next thing I highly recommend is a tentacle whip. Uh, you're going to hit harder than a regular whip, and that's the best weapon, that, in my opinion, that you can bring. The next thing is, I like to bring a ring of suffering. Completely up to you. A lot of these kind of solo things are completely, you know, up to you. Uh, it's a preference. I like to bring the Ring of Suffering. And of course, I think the really big thing that you need is the Carol's Leather Top or Dehyde Top because you want to protect against that magic uh, magic guy who's going to be attacking you. He's going to hit a lot of damage on you while you're protecting melee against Stamp Bandos. And then I really like to wear Varix because it has given me some extra prayer bonus. The next thing for the inventory that I highly recommend is a com super combat. You can bring a super attack and defense and strength if you don't have, um, you know, super combat. You know, I like to bring prayer potions, bones to peaches. You're going to need a scroll of redirection. And in order to do what I'm doing now, you need to have the quest done. Edgar's Ruse. I don't think you should be soloing Bandos unless you have done the quest itself. So I'm going to go ahead and use a scroll of redirection on the teleport to house. And the scroll of redirection you can get from Nightmare Zone. You can buy a bunch with for not many points. And you can also imbue your crystal shield at Nightmare Zone. So we're going to go ahead and switch them both to a Trollium teleport. Very nice. Um, just to save inventory spot. Next is I'm going to fill my... Um, inventory with anglers. Some people like to bring brews. I don't. It's completely a preference. I bring anglers and prayer potions and a super combat pot. You can kind of switch your inventory out with some brews and restores, prayer pots, and then your super attack, defense, and strength. Completely up to you. This is my preferred method with some bones to peaches. If you have guthans, 100%. I recommend you do that and bring that and you can switch out the Varric skirt and the Varric helm for your Guthans helm and your Guthans plate skirt with your plate body and spear switch to heal up on the minions. Some people like to bring blood barrage to heal up on the minions as well. I don't, but that's completely up to you. The next thing I want to recommend is 90 plus combat stats. The higher the better. Um, higher mage to protect against that mage attack is going to help you too because a lot of your mage defense is derived from your mage um, mage level. The next thing is to have to, I highly recommend 2k total, okay? And the reason why is because a lot of Iron Man do ban us on 2k total worlds and you're way likely to be crashed because teams, when teams get together, the likelihood of them all having 2k is not likely, so they go on the non-2k total worlds. It's just something to help you out from being get crashed. You don't have to have that though. Okay, I think I've gone over everything, everything that I recommend. Okay, I forgot to add, if it's your first time to God Wars Dungeon, bring a rope. And in order to get into God Wars Dungeon, you need 60 strength or 60 agility. Hopefully at an Iron Man at this level, you have these requirements. Uh, trying to think of anything else. I think we're pretty clear. Um, you also need a hammer. If you don't have a Dragon War hammer, you can get a hammer from the goblins that we're going to kill for KC. If you don't have a Dragon War hammer for War of the Special Attacks, you can go ahead and bring Crystal Halberd or Dragon Halberd or whatever spec weapon you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and teleport to Trollheim. Um, first, I'm going to switch to 2k Total World. You don't have to do this all um, to begin with, I just like to start here. 
Um, okay, so once you teleport to Trollheim, you want to go ahead and revert your Trollheim teleport back to a regular house teleport, so you can teleport out of there. You're going to run down, and I, I want to put a disclaimer that this is also my method of doing banners, and some people may do things a little bit different. Like I said, a lot of this is preference. I just wanted to post my guide, so if y'all liked my method, y'all could do it as well. So going over here, there's going to be some trolls that attack you with range. You're going to pray range. Okay. And in order to get into God Wars Dungeon, you're going to need that 70 strength or 70 agility. I actually think it's more like 60 strength-ish. I'll have to check. I'm going to post the requirements in the beginning of the video though. Okay. So here's the agility shortcut and here's the boulder. If you are soloing, um... Bandos as an Ironman, most likely you will have these requirements, and that's why I'm only skimming over these requirements right now. Okay. Okay. If it's your first time to God Wars Dungeon, you need a rope, and I will put that in the beginning of the video in captions. My assumption is that if you're an Ironman at this level, you will have been at least to God of War's Dungeon for spiritual creatures or whatever the case is. However, if I will have all these, you know, this info in the beginning of the video. So here's where you're going to get your KC. Basically, when you got into God of War's Dungeon, you're basically just going to run north like I did. And I attacked the goblins. I'm not using my tentacle whip because it uses up charges, so I'm just saving the charges. And basically, you want to get 40 KC or kill count and I will go ahead and pause this video and when I get 40 kill count I'll be back. Guys now that I've got my 40 KC uh, if you don't have a warhammer go ahead and pick up a hammer from the goblins you killed and you're going to be heading west and that will be um, Bandos' lair. So we're going to go ahead and bang this door open. And you're just going to be running to his lair, which requires the 40kc. Um, my good friend Pathogen's in here, and uh, he's actually a clan member. So we're going to go ahead and wait for him to finish because he's also an Iron Man. That's the great thing about 2k Total Worlds. They're pretty chill. Um, we'll be right back once he's done. Alright, my friend Pathogen's out of here. He's going to do an Abbey Demon task for some whips. And we're going to go ahead and do this. He brought Blood Barrages. It seemed to help him a lot. I hope this person does not crash me. Usually they don't. They're pretty chill on these worlds. So, alright. So, here we're just waiting for the spawn. And if your Dragon Warhammer does not hit, it does a huge effect on your kill. What is, who, is, who is this guy talking about? Double zero, yes, this guy. Anyway, what I do is whenever I eat, I walk under bandos. This guy's funny. He's like, how do you have primes but no bandos? Oh, he's a regular account, so he doesn't get the grind. That's funny. I don't think he knows he's going on a... Anyway, what I do is I go and I walk under Bandos to heal. Some people like to walk under him every two hits. I don't. This guy's a regular cow. It was really nice of him to wait on me. It was really chill because some main accounts are douches. He may come in and end up crashing me, but I don't think he will. But yeah, since my Warhammer didn't hit, I am having a little bit of struggles. It's really rough when the hammer does not hit. That's why some people like to bring Blood Barrage to heal up on the minions. I walk under and I'm going to heal up here. Just like that.
That guy cracked me up, though, really. There's that guy. This guy has full raids gear, if you look over here. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, I'm just showing you a couple kills and that my, my, um, pretty much my, what it's like. Some people like to flick prayers here. I don't. I'm not good enough. But as you can see, people want line up and wait outside the door, which is extremely kind. Some people will crash, like I said, so. And here, people like to use Guthin's Blood Barrage. Um, so it's completely up to you. I think definitely it will help. I didn't blame bring Blood Barrage because I didn't want to drag out this video. And also, um, I usually don't bring it in general, so. I don't know what they're talking about. But see, people are pretty nice on 2K Total Worlds. Sometimes you will get crashed, but it's a lot rarer than regular worlds. Try to get these minions killed. Always try to kill these minions because they do drop. They have a rare chance of dropping tacits and things like that. I'm going to add this guy who is hilarious. Dirt Flirt. It's a great name, too. He's got his thing online, too. Alright, let's get this kill in there, Sarthon. Come on now. So, that was a really unfortunate trip. It was a one-kill trip. However, I wanted to show you all the gist. If you hit your Warhammer specs, you can definitely get two to three kills a trip. And if you bring Blood Barrage, you may be able to push four. Um, unfortunately, um, there's a couple factors into this. One, I'm 28 KC, but that is what you do. Um, the basics. Dragon Warhammer does a huge difference. And also, every two hits, sometimes people walk under. That's completely up to you, too. And now I want to apologize for not having a video on my channel for a very long time and not being on RuneScape as much. I My fiancé is in town, and he's in town for three weeks, and we're usually long distance, so I'm trying to spend a lot of time with him. Um, so thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope this video helped you all out. I apologize for the few KCs or kill counts in that bandos trip, but it, it shows you how important Dragon Warhammer is. And if you don't hit, how much of a difference it does make. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you're interested in checking out more videos on my channel.